Hi, welcome to this short radiology case discussion. So this was a patient uh, who presented with a non-healing fracture. This was his initial radiograph. Uh, so I, uh, I wanted to look at the old images. So I went back and I looked at the prior. So this patient had a trivial injury one year back. And after that, uh, she had a fracture. Uh, which was healing the reason for the request uh, for the radiograph and in fact she had come in for CT was to see if uh, there is any uh, callus formation or uh, union so unfortunately uh, as you see in this radiograph there's not much of uh, bridging callus there is some callus but uh, you can see that there is a persistent gap so what we did was what I did was I just uh, had a look at this prior so this was the initial radiograph when she had presented a year ago uh, and if you can see here this is an odd location for a fracture uh, see it's a transverse subtrochantric fracture usually uh, osteoporotic femoral fractures are around the femoral neck so either you'll get an intertrochantric or a subcapital fracture but this is an odd location for a femoral fracture so Investigating further, this patient had, uh, she was in bisphosphonates for more than five years now. Uh, and this is a common presentation of uh, one of the complications of bisphosphonate therapy, uh, that is atypical femoral fractures. What was more interesting that, uh, in fact, this was my staff uh, who uh, told me to go and have a look at an even prior radiograph. So a radiograph which was done a year ago showed a subtle uh, cortical breach along the lateral aspect. I'll just get my pointer here. So if you see that there is this tiny break at the lateral cortex uh, and this was uh, two years ago, uh, a year before she had actually fractured. So this is an interesting point because if we had recognized this fracture on the initial radiograph, what we could have done is we could have suggested uh, prophylactic treatment for this. So this is how uh, atypical fem femoral fractures present. So in initially, they just present as a small cortical break along the lateral cortex of the subtrochantric femur. And then uh, later, whenever there's a trivial trauma, uh, they can present with uh, a displaced uh, non-commutative fracture as we saw in our case. And the problem with these is that they don't have good healing. So let's revise whatever we discussed. So atypical femoral fractures are also known as bisphosphonate-related proximal femoral fractures. They are a type of insufficiency fractures and are usually seen in patients on long-term bisphosphonates, typically anything more than three to five years. One important uh, caveat is that they are bilateral in up to 60% of cases. So if you see uh, 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 an atypical fracture in the patient always make sure that you screen the other uh, femur for the presence of uh, a bilateral uh, fracture. Uh, the, in, the first changes in these occur at the lateral femoral cortex as we saw in our case uh, and the fractures are subtrochantric, transverse in orientation, there is lack of diminution uh, and they present with initially with a cortical break and can occur with low velocity trauma. Uh, they are associated with poor healing and the 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 thing that we can help uh, the clinicians and the patients is by letting them know if uh, uh, the fractures in the initial stages uh, what they can do is uh, stop the bisphosphonate therapy and uh, do a prophylactic nailing for the patient to avoid uh, further complications into a, a full-blown fracture uh, as we saw in our case. So just to revise the case once again, atypical femoral fractures begin with subtle cortical breaks along the lateral cortex of the femur. Uh, they are usually subtrochantric, so anything that is less than 5 cm from the lesser trochanter is known as subtrochantric. So subtrochantric transverse non comminuted fractures are common in patients with long-term bisphosphonate therapy. Thank you. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you like our content. And YouTube is specifically recommending uh, you the videos uh, that are up on your screen. So make sure you check them out. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.